Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Art Master Vision. Uh, today I'm going to be painting this rather lovely artisan designs uh, World War II German Fahrschmjäger. Um, he's going to have a nice camo smock on, uh, splinter camo. We're going to start off by undercoating that um, with German camo pearl brown. Now this may look quite light to begin with, but we're going to give it a wash over with a brown wash, which will darken it considerably and also shade it at the same time. So being quite um, carefree with this, as this is the first colour uh, we're putting on, so don't have any areas that are already painted to worry about getting any more paint on. But obviously the neater you can be, the better really, just saves time later on. I'm going to switch to a slightly smaller brush and edge in some of the areas where I'd like to be a little neater. Okay, so that would be for that. Now we're going to do um, German filled grey on the trousers, so we're going to make a mix for this. We're going to take German filled grey World War Two, which is a nice sort of greeny grey, quite authentic looking. Um, we're going to squeeze some into the, our palette section here, and then we're going to take some black. I'm using uh, Andrea Color Black from the black set, the darkest one. And then we're just going to add some water and mix the two together until it's sufficiently darker. That looks quite nice to me. Then we're going to paint this on solid all over the trousers.
Okay, so that will about do that. Now we're going to take some brass. Um, I'm using Vallejo brass for this, and I'm going to paint all the bullets with this because I'm going to wash over this in the same colour brown that I'm going to wash the uh, camo smock in. So I might as well do that now, and I can do both at the same time. And then I'll switch to a smaller brush and do the edges a bit neater. Okay, so now we're going to move on and uh, undercoat the helmet. I'm going to take Andrea Colour 2 from the black set. This is the uh, first light colour. And I'm going to paint this on completely solid over the entire helmet. As you can probably tell, this is almost a blue grey, but we're going to wash over it with some black, and it will create quite a nice effect for the helmet. Um, also, quickly. There's just a little bit of the uniform showing underneath the smock here, so just paint that on the collar. Now I'm going to take some Russian uniform World War II, uh, and this I'm going to put on the um, gas canister on the back there. And again, this is going to be washed over with some black. Now we're going to take some uh, green brown and we're going to add some black into this to darken it down and this is going to be the undercoat for the bag.
Okay, so now we're going to coat the flesh, and we're going to take uh, Vallejo Shadows flesh for this. Okay, so now the um, water canteen I'm gonna undercoat with uh, a dark brown. If I can find the one I want, here we go. German camo black brown for this. Also do the straps on the helmet in this colour. Although we might have to touch them up later on after the flesh has been done. I'm just going to take some English uniform. And this will be the strap on the water bottle. Now for the wood on the gun. Uh, I'm going to take some beige brown. I'm going to darken this down. So I think I'm going to add some of that German camo black brown into that to darken it. I'm going to use this for the wood on the gun.
Okay, so now it's mostly undercoated, we can move on to the next stages. Uh, I'm just going to quickly dry it off before we move on, so if you just bear with me for a second. Okay, so now I'm going to take some Games Workshop wash. This is Devlin mud. This is the brown wash. And we're going to wash over all the smock and the gold as well. Show the strap on there as well. Now I want it to be quite dark, or well, dark enough so I can highlight it without making it too bright. And as you can see there, it's not quite fully dry, so it's run onto the bullet slightly. So I'm just going to dry my brush and soak some of that up. You should uh, really allow much more time between drying and putting a wash over a colour. Okay, so now that's done, um, we'll move on to highlighting the trousers. And for this, I'm just going to take the colour we used to darken down, which was German Field Grey World War II, and this will be used on its own for the first highlight.
Okay, so now we're going to move on. Um, we'll do the first highlight to the flesh whilst the brown is still drying. So we're going to take our usual formula of flesh base for the first highlight. Um, someone's just asked what my opinion on and Andrea paints are. Um, I think they're very, very good for the ones that I've used. Um, I haven't used them all yet. I've just got the flesh set, the white set and the black set. Um, but I've just got the black set and I've only used it a few times. But currently I think it's very, very nice. I think they're well worth... Um, getting they're slightly expensive um, which puts a lot of people off I think um, but I managed to get the black set half price on eBay but definitely well worth it they don't always work um, as triads I feel I mean they're not really designed as triads but Sometimes you have to do a bit of mixing and matching with some other paints to get a good um, layering effect going on. But I'm finding that I like them more and more the more I use them. I think there's definitely some colours that they do that you can't get from the Vallejo range. You could probably make them up by mixing Vallejos together, but it's just less hassle to use one straight from the Andrea range. Um, okay, so now we're going to just put a black wash on the helmet and the gas mask holder at the back. This is going to be with Games Workshop Badad Black Wash.
Games Workshop washes are very nice. Uh, particularly useful are the black and the brown. Um, I find that I don't use some of the others, such as the purple one. I haven't really got much of a use for that, but um, I tend to use the blue wash when painting water bottles on British Napoleonics. Um, sometimes use the green wash, but that can be quite garish depending on what you're putting it over. Um, but yeah, the red one comes in handy sometimes as well. But definitely the, the brown and the black one, very, very helpful. Uh, I'm going to highlight the bag now at the back. Um, I'm going to go straight over that with green brown. Okay, so now I'm going to take some of the colour we used on the camo before we washed it on the smock, which was uh, German Camo Pal Brown, and we'll use this to highlight it. Okay, so that's good. Uh, I'm just going to do the second heart on the flesh. And we're going to use flat flesh for this.
and on top of that we're going to put a little bit of an extra highlight of highlights flesh this is a really bright flesh so I'm going to use this very sparingly Okay, so now we're going to add some white into the German fill grey and do the second highlight on the trousers. And I do apologise, we've got a little bit of camera problem here. There you go, back to normal. Now this is just going to be used kind of doing some sharp highlights to really pick out the folds in the cloth. Okay, now for the second highlight on the bag, I'm going to take some highlight British tank crew and add uh, a smidge of this, or about maybe 50 50, into the green brown.
we're going to highlight the wood on the gun with beige brown Okay, now we're going to put some dark brown patches on the camo smock. So we're going to take the um, German camo black brown for this. Just sort of random shapes equal distance apart Then we're going to take some splinter strips and add some black into it and darken it down. And this will be the undercoat for our green spodges. And we're just going to do, say, one or two of these attached to every brown splodge. Then we're going to take some white and mix this in with the German Camo Pale Brown, which was the original undercoat for the smock. And I'm going to use this as a highlight.
Um, as far as I know, the differences between um, Panzer Aces, Vallejo's game colours and model colours. Uh, the Panzer Aces are specifically designed for World War One and Two um, painting. The colours are more suited to that. The game colours are brighter and um, more suited to fantasy. Um, not as much variation in the colours there as the model colour range. The model colour range is the largest range which um, is kind of good for everything. It's sort of the in betweeny range. Um, but I kind of mix and match a lot of colours from model colours and uh, Panzer Aces. Uh, but I don't actually use any from game colour. Uh, now I'm going to take some Russian uniform World War II and paint this on the highlight the green splotches with. Ok so now I'm going to highlight the brown spodges using flat brown. Um, might be an idea to use mahogany brown as well. Uh, we might highlight that with this if it doesn't show up. I'll also highlight the water canteen with this. Okay, so now we're just going to lighten the patches a little on the camo and then we'll do the rain effect um, and then the model will be nearly finished. I'm going to take the mahogany brown that I mentioned
I'm going to add some white into the green and just do some extreme highlights I'll put a few extreme highlights as well on the pal brown. Okay, so now I'm going to take some very, very dark green. Uh, I'm probably just going to use the splinter blotches that I had earlier that I mixed with black and add a teeny bit more black into it. And this is what I'm going to use for the stripes that are going to cover the smock. Okay, so that will do for that. Now I'm going to take a very bright gold. If I can find it. This is Model Air metallic gold. Almost silver, it's so bright. And this is what I'm going to use to highlight the bullets with.
Now I'm going to take some Andrea Black number four, first shadow. This is going to be the first highlight on the back. Um, this particular brush is an army painter brush. This is War Game, a character. Um, still using um, mostly army painter brushes. Uh, a few Kalinsky, Sable as well, but mostly the army painter ones. Uh, I want to take some some of the green brown that I used earlier and I'm just going to put a little highlight to the strap here and I'm going to take this highlight British tank crew and do an extra highlight to the bag I'm actually going to take some pal sand as well and do an extra extra highlight and I think I'll use that to put the eyes in as well Take some brown sand to do an extra highlight to the wood. It really does make all the difference um, when you take the time to put in these extra, the little bit of extra effort to add some very sharp highlights here and there. It makes a big difference to the overall look of the model. And now I'm going to take some uh, silver. I'm going to take a very bright silver. This is Model Air Steel. And I'm going to put some chips to the helmet and the canister on the back. So on the edge here where it's been scraped and bashed about and the paint started to chip off. Just put some little bits of silver and the same with the helmet around the edges.
got a little bit on the buckle there. Now I'm going to take some Model Air Black, and this will be for the gun metal. And take some highlight German black for the chin strap. And for the second highlight on the black, I'm going to use the Andrea number two first light from the black set. I'm going to take some more of the bright silver and put a little bit of highlight on the gun metal. Uh, the actual silver on the gun's perhaps a little bright there, so um, if I had time, I'd put a black wash over that. Um, but because it's so watery, it'll probably take a little while to dry. So I'm just going to end the vision there. And then we have the completed German Felschmjäger. like to thank everyone for watching uh, please check out our website we've actually got some World War 2 for sale at the moment painted by the late Ian Stables uh, check out the Steve Dean forum there's always a lot of good stuff on there check out our website and our YouTube page and I'll see you all again next Friday. Thanks again and good night.